Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if you are new boo. Welcome to the Glam Girl Squad. So today I'm super excited because I haven't sat down and filmed a beauty video in so long. So I got inspired to do this chocolate cut crease. That's what I'm gonna call it. A chocolate cut crease with y'all today. So if you guys wanna learn or if you're into that type of stuff, make sure to keep watching this video. Um, I'm super excited. My hair is red, it's from Stomp Life. Get you a red wig, try something different, just do something wild today, okay? Period. Let's get into the beauty video, let's go. So, so far, I have cleansed my face and moisturized, hopped in the shower, washed my face, ate breakfast, all that stuff. I did drop a 90s inspired hair tutorial, so make sure to check that out. This is Snob Life here. It is an 18 inch full lace wig. Y'all don't mind my um, ring light that's just in the back. I just wanted to do a cute setup for you guys because I'm in my new beauty room and I haven't figured out all, all the setups that I want to do just yet. So just don't mind it. It's just a work in progress. So first up, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna carve out the bottom of my brow. I like to do this. I don't like to carve out the top part because I am gonna be getting foundation up there. And when I carve out the bottom, it kind of just leaves a guide for where I know eyeshadow is gonna go and all that good stuff. So I just like to just carve out the bottom before I actually finish up my brows, if that makes sense. Next, I'm gonna go in and carve out underneath my brow. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is the OG concealer. Okay, so I just went ahead and I primed my eyes with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I love this because it color corrects my lids and it gives me that, that nice, perfect base that I want when I'm applying my eyeshadow. So for the first color, we're gonna be jumping into the Juvia's Place palette and this is the Chocolates. And I'm gonna be using this shade, this shade, a little bit of that shade to create this eyeshadow look today. So the first shade that we're gonna go into is that lighter color in the middle there. It's like that tan color. So we're gonna use this color as a transition shade and I'm just gonna pack this color onto the lid so it could be really pigmented. When you use Juvia's palettes, you already know, like they're known for having really pigmented colors. I like to work with the neutral colors first and then I like to add in those more darker pigmented colors like black or dark brown. It just helps when I'm like blending everything out. Right now I still feel like I'm in control. Just gotta keep packing that color on because I really want it to pop and stand out. That's a pretty neutral color. Like if you're just looking to do an easy, simple eye, I would definitely recommend using that color right there. It's so pretty. The next color I'm gonna grab is from the Warriors 2 palette. Getting this shade here. And I'm just gonna apply that right below the color I just added. Okay, now we're gonna get into the real good stuff. Now I'm gonna take this chocolatey color. Ooh, she got pigment. She did not come to play this one. So now I've seen this trick that Taylor Mae Jane did and she grabbed this water, put on a Q-tip and then just like carved out where her cut crease is gonna go which I thought was just so smart. Next I'm going to the P. Louise base and this is in the shade Rumor Zero. And I'm just going to carve out that crease. Okay, so now that my cut crease is all cut, I look like this is a look, what we think? I can't wait to fill her in. So I'm gonna take the shade in the chocolate palette, this one right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying that to the outer edge. Then I'm gonna take some of this, some of this color here, and I'm just gonna start adding that to the outter corners of the eye. So in the Warrior 2 palette, I'm gonna be taking this shade here. I'm just gonna apply that at the beginning of my cut crease. And then I'm gonna go in with the chocolate palette. I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm just gonna blend it in the middle of my eye right there. 
Ooh, bitch, this is good. Anywhere that you're losing pigment, you can just go back in and just blend it out. Don't worry about it. Don't even trip. Just blend, just tap it in there, and then pull it out. Tap, 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 tap. Give it a head tap, let's tap, tap, tap. You said that you with it, but it's cap, cap, cap. Pretty. Okay, so next we're gonna go in. I wanna put some liner on. This is my Sephora eyeliner. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add some lashes. These are my dream girl lashes from the Lara Lifestyle.com. I'll put the link on the screen. Um, I've been wearing these for over a month now. What I used to put them on is I have this Kiss Lash Strip Glue. While we're for lashes, I can go in and I can do my primer. So for primer today, I'm gonna use the first Sally. This is a skin tone blur. I got the minis for Christmas and I just wanted to try out. I don't know if you're like me, but I like to just try out products in the mini size before I actually commit to getting it just to see how I like it and also because I have sensitive skin so um, I need to actually see how my skin is going to react before I invest in a, a large size of any product that I'm not really familiar with. So for these with Sally Skin Torn Blur in the whole collection they just launched a liquid powder type of oil and this skin tone blur, I'm feeling her. She's like really good. She's blendable, um, buildable. And she just gives my foundation a smooth finish. I don't know if you guys could tell already, like she's already working her magic. I don't put too much on my forehead, and I would, but I am going to be um, putting my swoop down so it doesn't really make sense to just prime that. Cause girl, I just got a mini and we are not trying to just waste it. <laughs> Okay, lashes are on. Now let's move on to face, my favorite part, because right now I'm looking very crazy. Like, just eyeshadow? Imagine if I just walked out with just this eyeshadow, like. Okay, I'm gonna use um, NARS to color correct today. This is the Juvia's Place in the shade stick, a Bidgen. I live for it, it's the perfect contour color for me. Um. I like to just snatch my chin, my my whole head. I like to just snatch. <laughs> Hit that foundation. Okay, I'm gonna blend out this concealer underneath my eyes. Next, I'm gonna take my Too Faced One Like Concealer, and I'm going to just conceal underneath my eyes. When do I have a contour my nose? Highlight my nose like this? Never. <laughs> Ever. Like, let me just try it today. Okay, so my face is highlighted, contoured, pretty much everything that your girl would want. I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty powder and I'm going to set my makeup. I love a matte look. I love a matte look. This forehead is shining. I don't know what it is today. It's just being in. I'm kind of obsessed with AK. Okay, I think we're good to go. I, I look like... <laughs> Why does it look like that on camera? <laughs> and then I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe setting spray. That's the first round of sprayage. And then go in and just like press it in. Cute. And then I'm gonna go in with my bad gal bang from Benefit. 
mascara. Ooh, I mean, my bottom lashes, don't play with them. Don't even do it. I mean, you couldn't play with them if you tried, like, don't play with them. And this just like goes right in and gets all the hairs. Okay, now let's get into lips. Okay. Babe, this is a look. I'm like obsessed already and I don't have, I think we need a lip gloss, but other than that, I think it's cute. I think it's mad cute. I think this whole look is cute. Ooh, highlights. I'm gonna grab the Juvia's, <laughs> be so like out of breath. Um, this is the Juvia's highlighter. So I'm gonna use the MAC lip glass and I've been obsessed with bringing out my beauty marks. So got this baby right here. For my final touch, I'm gonna grab the Urban Decay. This is their new ultra matte setting spray. And I'm just gonna like spritz it out there first to see what it's gonna give and then it gave uh just came on my face. I feel like the Morphe setting spray, I feel like this is really good to set my makeup. It gives me a flawless finish in between, but this, I feel like really locks my makeup in place. And it doesn't, especially for my combination skin, I'm not sure if like, you know, the hydrate and mist could be better for dry skin or just different skin types but, or skin behaviors, because even with different skin types, somebody could be oily and somebody could be, um, dry but they have different skin like habits and things like that so what i can say about this is that this ultra matte setting spray i feel like there's nothing else that really like keeps me from shining like shining so on that note we're gonna spray one more time and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spray i'm just gonna hold it when i spray and not go ch -ch 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 -ch. it's gonna hold it like The only thing I'll say about that setting spray is, I just can y'all come out with just a mist? If you guys could get this formula, Urban Decay, if you're watching my video, I love you guys. You guys are pretty dope. Thank you for gifting me with these ultra matte setting sprays. The one thing I would say is that please come out with a formula that is a mist. We want it. The girls want it. The glam girls want it. We want it. Come out with a mist because. The spray is great because it's just an awesome product, but it does leave like those resistant bubbles, like I don't know what to call them. And it's just, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun creating this look. It honestly, it was just really a lot of blending. Like that's, you just gotta keep blending and blending and blending and blending. I hope you guys learn how to do a cut crease um, and are inspired to keep practicing. If you guys decide that you guys do wanna recreate this look, make sure to tag me in those posts so I can see them. And if you guys are interested in joining the Glam Girl Squad, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss a beat, period. Stay tuned for more beats <laughs> to come. <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, boo. Diamonds flashing, and you know they legit.